Hello. Hello, mate. Hello, Stephen. How are you? What's happening? Is my face on? Have I not got my actual uh, video up here? Ain't have I? Uh, no, no, not yet. Just got a very nice, solemn photo. Can you see me? <laughs> That's how I'm looking. I can't uh, see you, guys. Yeah, you can see me now. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. None of us have a skill we deal with. There we, we go. I'm back in. It's it's all guesswork, mate. It's all guesswork. Yeah, yeah. Looks the exact same I'll as the last time I've seen you. <laughs> when Biggin gets on here, it's a problem. <laughs> he'll, he'll just he'll just yeah. chat. He'll chat, and we'll have nothing to talk about. It'll just that's, be him. That's it. Probably, that's probably it. Asleep, he's, probably, he's probably on his sunbed still. That's right. Here he is. Here he, he is. is. See the sunbed still working. Well, the garden boy, yeah. just rub the cream. There he is. Oh, do you do that? Don't you? Know? <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know, oh, I, I swear to God, I was put money on. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. How are you doing, Sam? Gaz, all right. right. I'm good, mate. Yeah, yourself. You have an ace at all. What's the story? That Botox. Grizz, come back. I've just put a little bit of color in it. Just to, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's quite right. sure. but I've just come out of the garden about half an hour ago quickly. Guys, how's work and stuff? stuff out I'm walking with my dad, so I'm in the butchers, you know. And uh, I passed yeah. it. I uh, got my taxi license. Just trying to my taxi license in the next few weeks as well, you know. So okay. The, the shop's been shut since my dad got sick, though. That's six weeks now, you know. Yeah. Opening back up this week, but I was playing over thirty fives last year, but Jesus, the old body's not able for it, you know. <laughs> You, you know, Gaz, you've, you've, you've been 35 for the last 15 years, Gaz, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> no you're comment. right. You're, no you're right. You're 33. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. What age are you now, Gaz? Uh, 28. Ooh, 41. 41. 41. 41. Yeah. What are you? You haven't touched a 50 now, eh? I'm still in my um, 40s somewhere in there, yeah. You're right, it's all 40. So we're very similar, 40, similar to 30. <laughs> 40, yeah. well, close. 48 in two months, yeah. Yeah, you look well. Yeah, I'm feel, I feel all right. I mean, the last 11 yeah. weeks, 11 weeks now, Perch, and it? it was March the 13th. We, yeah. Yeah, they've been all right. I mean, in some respects, it's flew past. It's, it's been all right. I've actually, um, the kids have been very good. I think it's many, been, sorry, Perch, how many kids have you got? I've got two. Two, yeah. Nice. Two boys, yeah. So it's been, wow. um, it's it's been it's been great. Like that, I think it, we've we've just had time to spend together. I think I haven't had that time. You get in the coaching side of stuff, you just don't you don't get time to actually spend that quality time. You're actually thinking about other stuff as you go along, yeah. So um, the actual main thing has been it's been good because we've, we've had time together. So that's been good. Just being footballers in the back garden. Yeah, football schooling, yeah, you name it. <laughs> yeah, it's been, yeah. It's been oh, right. P, P, right. P again today, guys, for seven yeah, hours. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I mean, we've done all right with that. Go on, then. So sorry, big and go on, mate. What's the actual date of this anniversary? I mean, I should know. Is it the 20, was it the 29th or the 26th? 26th of May, was it? Is it? Oh, we don't know. I was thinking 20 I ain't got a clue. We should know. I'm not sure. Not sure. <laughs> Someone Google <laughs> <a clue. laughs> It was definitely, it was, it was the 20, it's 2003, that's as much as I've got. Yeah, definitely, yeah, 2003. And it, yeah, yeah. I should know, we scored one and set up four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 17, 17 years. Wow. My God, that doesn't like seem like 17 years, does it? No. Incredible. 17 years, it is incredible. Tough yeah, going down, though, isn't it? We, I mean, I'd been at Bournemouth, what was that, 2002? I'd been at Bournemouth 10 years, and the first time we'd played in League Two, which is obviously the bottom bottom tier. Um, and then we got off to a bad start. I mean, I was injured. I didn't come back till October, but I know I've looked at, I'm looking at the um, notes here I've been given. And yeah, the, didn't win in the, the first uh, five games, did we? No, bad start, no. yeah. We lost. I'll tell you how we got we, we, we kept drawing. I, just, I, remember, I remember that. We just couldn't win. We just kept drawing yeah. games. We uh, yeah. we drew the first three. Yeah. Away at Boston, home against Kidderminster, home against Cambridge. Then we lost away at Swansea. Then we drew at, at home to Oxford. So we didn't get a win in the first five. And I think that's nah. when Drisk, then I think Peter Phillips had said to Drisk, 
Pete Phillips being the chairman, I think he'd give Drisk an ultimatum because we were in bottom few of the League Two, down the bottom end. And, yeah. Um, yeah, he's under pressure. Yeah. 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 I, I don't us, know if anything made you change, was it? Because I think I think we had a disruptive start pre season. Because I don't Yeah, we did. Yeah. I think I was I didn't play the first three because I got sent off at the, the season before at Wrexham, I think in the last game. Like, yeah. Yeah. And then I think I don't know whether I don't I don't remember us bringing anyone like feel like we brought anyone in, did we? I don't no, like that was it felt uh, it felt like we got more like loan players throughout the season that year. It, like mm. There was like um, people came in. Lewis Buxton, what, didn't we have him for a while? Scott, Scott, Scott um, McDonald, was alone. he was on the bench. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know how long he was with us. I can't remember how long he was with us. Browner, we had Browner came in, didn't he? he was one. He, he's, yeah, he's yeah. Browner done yeah. one. I mean, he yeah. gave us a bit of experience, didn't yeah. he? Yeah, definitely. Did definitely. That. Yeah, it was a big, good sign for us. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. we obviously, you said we were so young. Genuinely, I know we had like Fletch and Youngy and, and players like that, but genuinely we were a young group. Well, early twenties, yeah. 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 Like you said, we got yeah, up to uh, we got to, didn't wasn't Drisk wasn't Sean Driscoll given like ten games to save his job by Peter Phillips, something like it that. It was in the it was in the paper, wasn't it? it was yeah. Paper. He said he's got to get us out of this situation, at least climb the league, and I think then we started picking up games. If I look at the, the wins, then we. You beat Macclesfield away, then you beat Exeter away. Uh, Drew were Brentford, then the next win was rushed in at home. I can't remember that, 3-1. That was, looking now, middle of September. Yeah, I scored in that, I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> remember that one. Remember, well, from my perspective. <laughs> well, well, I remember that remember one as well, Yeah, yeah. That was a good <laughs> one, wasn't it? That was miles out. That was about 35 yards, I remember that. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you never forget them ones, huh? Was wasn't a cross that one, Perch? Was it? <laughs> yeah, weren't you in the back post? I think it was. Yeah, it was it. one of those. I tried to put a swerve in it on your head. Yeah, never crossed it for me. But but yeah. Perch, well, didn't didn't that season? Didn't you play in midfield? Yeah, I started. Um, I started at right back or left back. Yeah, and then yeah, then I went to centre mid. I mean, I played. I remember that genuinely. We were quite a settled team, one way or another, with the odd sort of lone player coming in or, or whatever. But yeah, I, I ended up uh, playing most of the games in there that year, yeah. Because you, yeah. you were obviously, be, you played at the back, didn't you? Yeah, I went at the back. It was me and Brody for a long period. Yeah. Uh, Cole Broadhurst Gaz, Gaz and then... Pretty, Gaz was pretty much settled where you were, weren't you? So you were, right? Yeah, yeah. that was all right, yeah. Uh, Wade, Wade would have Wade, been Wade, yeah, Wade played on the right. Yeah, me and Brown are centre midfield. Yeah. And then Stocky as well, hates, obviously. Yeah, that's hate. Feeny. Feeny was there as well, wasn't he? Yeah, because Feeny got injured, didn't he? Feeny got injured. Because yeah. mm. I, I, was, I was just talking to Shani Mar there just before this, and he, he says him and Feeny got drunk. I was telling him about uh, the night before the, the game because they were either suspended or injured, you know? So they weren't involved. <laughs> so, they were to have to be <laughs> so that's their that's, memory of that, yeah? Yeah, so suspended or injured means drunk. Is that what, is that what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't involved in any reason. You ready? Uh, <laughs> well, I think we um, just looked at the fixtures there. From the middle of September till the end of October, we went on an eight-game undefeated yeah. run, which accumulated with six wins and two draws. Um, like I say, we, we beat Rushton, and then we went away to Lincoln, yeah, I remember that. Game. Home, I, and scored in that I scored in that game. Yeah, as well. you did. Yeah, because <laughs> that was my that was my that was my comeback game. I'd been out for fourteen yeah. months. Remember, I trained about a week, and I'd been out for like fourteen months. And Drisk called me over in training, and I think you said to me, "He's going to ask you to travel on Saturday." I was like, "Yeah, good one. No chance. I've been injured for like fourteen months." And he was like, "Biggin, do you want to go on the bench?" I was like, "Yeah, yeah." I'd w walked over <laughs> to him, going, "Nah, there's no way." I'd said to the lad, "There's no way I'm going to be involved." <laughs> I'm not ready. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Fletch, I, I remember. I remember that differently. I I remember it as you going over, just going. I'm fit. I'm ready to play. I'm ready, I'm ready fit. And he went, no, no, you're not. No, you're not. You need to be longer. <laughs> we, we were like, no, he's not. He's not ready. No chance. He's not all ready. In the background, all in the background, going like that. That's when you know, fourteen months to come back like that. And you need to hold up. Yeah, amazing. It, it, you know yeah, I, mean? I was lucky. I mean, I should have had another month after all that time, but 
Ah, oh, easy, easy. Well, he asked me, he asked me, he said, do you want to go on the bench? I said, yeah. And I think the only reason is, looking back, because we were playing Lincoln and they were a big physical team. They played a certain way, didn't they? They went direct. Yeah. And I remember yeah. Trisk's, ta Trisk's ta uh, tactics because we were obviously renowned in, in that league as a bit of a football team. Uh, um, but he wanted to go fire with fire, didn't he? Do you remember? And we, yeah, they yeah. said, look, we're gonna, and they won't be ready for it. I think I remember him saying, if we give them what as good as what they give us, and then our football will come through. And I remember Perchie scoring an absolute worldie from about 25 yards, wasn't it? There's a corner. There's a corner. Uh, you stepped over it, Flex, didn't you? Is there the one, yeah. uh, the, whole, the, yeah. whole, um, the one where you stepped over it on the edge, yeah? Oh, yeah, well, yeah, that, another, another assist then, because I must have taken that corner. <laughs> <laughs> Is, I forgot about that one. I'm going to write that one down. <laughs> yeah. Did Alan get injured in that game? Is that the game? I think he did, yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I'm not, I'm Someone got injured. I, I, came on in about, I came on in about the 75th minute or something. And it was someone got injured, I'm sure. But I remember the game. We won 2-1 and that was like... That was away from home, team. Fletch, wasn't it? Yeah. Sorry? Yeah, because Fletch takes... That's when Fletch takes uh, his arms up with his shirt. Yeah. Sleeves off. Yeah, Bernie, I remember. Bernie, the kit man, brought me a long sleeve shirt. I haven't worn a long sleeve <laughs> shirt since I was about four years old. So I cut it, and it was too high, and then it went over yeah, somewhere, yeah. Some, somewhere, somewhere around there. <laughs> that's why, I, that's why I cut it. But um, I think then we went on and won. I think we beat York at home, Bristol Rovers at home, Hartlepool at home. I think Hartlepool was on Sky on the Sunday, wasn't it? Yeah, was that? I think it was. Uh, I vaguely remember. Was it a really windy day or something? Yeah, yeah, they, we beat two, yeah. yeah. I think we beat them two one two nil. Let's have a look. Yeah. Oh, we beat two, one. That was on the Sunday on the telly. Yeah, so we'd gone like eight games then, and I think we ended up about fourth in the league. So that was basically we cemented ourselves in the top top few. Um, I'm trying to look at the fixtures now. After that, we drew at Orient, then we beat Oxford away three two in the cup. We beat York at home. Torquay, we go, oh, do you remember Torquay away? 4-0. Got beat. You got beat, did he? No. Remember yeah, we beat them at home 4 nil. Might, well. might have erased What's that one from my memory. <laughs> I don't remember that one. Yeah, funny yeah. enough, yeah. Was that, wasn't, wasn't that the one where um, Richard O'Kelly was good? Gone, you must feel good because you look good. But like, Rich, we're 4-0 down, mate. You can't look good. <laughs> no, because he wasn't there. He weren't there. It's Peter Grant. <laughs> Was it Peter Grant? Yeah, it would have been Grant. Oh, yeah, it was a different talk. We must have got battered a few times, there. We battered yeah, everyone at the home before as well. Nah. All, the, all the seasons rolled into one for you guys, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you if you do it by what um if you do the seasons by what different names the cage and the zoo went by, then it's got a better <laughs> understanding. <Yeah. really>. <laughs> <laughs> That's Element. what it's hard to do. I remember, for, I always felt that were going into every game, I always felt going into every game that we were going to win. I didn't, I never, I never felt that we went into any of the games sort of um, worried about the result. I don't know, I, I had that feeling in the change room before and we had sort of, I don't know, you had Wally putting on certain songs and um, I don't know, it felt like you, you, we had a routine before the game that made us feel good before we went out. And um, yeah, I remember yeah. that. I remember, I remember us all being very, on the pitch, we weren't afraid to let each other know that they weren't quite good enough. Um, yeah. You know, I, think I don't we had think we Yeah, I, I think everyone was honest with each other. I don't know, that's how it felt. I suppose it's always easier when you win, but I always felt that like we had each other one way or another, good or bad. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I felt... Go on, guys. Go on, mate. No, go on, Carl. Go on. Sorry, sorry, sorry. No, I, I, I felt that season, like I said, we, there wasn't loads of bad performances. I know, mm. like, going through the results, there's some draws and some losses and stuff. And I think a lot of the games at that stadium, I felt like we were poor first half because we were yeah, going to an end that had no, had no stand. And then we turned around and yeah. we all seemed to, to kind of get a game. So I'd, I can imagine, I might be wrong, but I reckon there'll be a lot of goals in the second half for us in the games that we won and stuff. But I think we was all this, you know, apart from obviously Fletch and Youngie and Browner to a degree, but we was all very much similar ages, I think, which was quite a positive. So we was all, all kind of on the same wavelength and all kind of in the same same period of our careers, which I think we all pushed one another, I think, which was, which was, you know, such a good thing to have at the time. Yeah. We're, always, we're always good for a goal, weren't we? Yeah. yeah. Big I mean, it, it, it did seem, actually, that reminds you, you're right, it almost felt like we had to go 1-0 down 
to then come back two one. That was just that is uh yeah, very much how it felt. Yeah, you're right. There's loads of we're looking at it now. There's loads of two one victories, two one yeah. victories. Yeah. yeah, three twos. Yeah. Well, yeah, we had loads. Of, we had loads of different for... goalkeepers that year as well, didn't we? Jimmy Jimmy Ashton, the, uh, we had so many. Chris Tardif. We had um, obviously Gaz Stewart and Mossy. Then Jimmy. came on in loan, didn't they? To like Saul DM. We had like we had so many goalkeepers that year. Jimmy yeah. Ashton. Yeah. Yeah. I think he got he's, taken yeah. back, didn't he? I think he was yeah. he, like he, we got him. I think we had, didn't have him very long, but it was like, oh yeah, we'll, we were happy with him. And then I can't remember whether he got injured or he got recalled or something. But... Yeah, we had loads of keepers. Yeah, and then we were scraping the barrel and got Neil Moss in. So, <laughs> <laughs> hey, to be fair, he made a massive February. Didn't he, when he came I mean, February he came back yeah. in my notes. Yeah, and no, yeah. he was big. He was big for us. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he's an, he another was. another older player that we didn't yeah. have. Just a bit of experience, yeah. I think, that that, yeah. that that definitely helped. Just going through the team yeah. when you had like Mossy, then you had Browner, and then you had Fletch, yeah. Yeah, Young as well. Yeah. Just had a little bit more know-how than than what the rest of us would have been. Like Gaz says, what 21, 22, 23 at the time. Yeah. So. Yeah. Right. So no, then in my notes, it's got Gareth O'Connor scored in a two-nil win against Darlington in March. Remember it, Gaz? No, I do not. It does because you got you got a ten out of ten in the echo. I said, Mister Neil Perrett, give you a ten. I out remember. Ten. I know. A ten out. Yeah, I remember that. That's that was in the echo. Yeah, I was, I was only talking to Perrett the other day. I was going to ask him to send me over that the picture of that. You know, because I'd lost it in the paper. You know. Good one. Oh, I don't remember. I don't remember the goal. It was probably a cracker now on me. <laughs> I mean, Carl Fletch, <laughs> diag to me, headed down. Yeah. 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 Bang. That's it. I must, you know, Mark McAdam. He done a clip of all my goals that's on YouTube. But I must check them. One of the, probably one of those goals. You know. Remind me. Send me the link. We'll have a look later. Yeah, well, it's, it's, on, <laughs> it's on YouTube. Just type in Gaz O'Connor. And it's a good clip. There we go. Uh, no, we won't bother you, alright. Um, <laughs> so then it says Neil Young scored his first league goal for five years against a one-one draw with Torquay at home. Can't remember that. It says he scored, but it should have been an own goal from a Gareth O'Connor free kick in the dying seconds to equalise. So you must have put the ball in, guys. You only got a touch on it, but it must have been there, lad. So that's Can't another assist. Many assists as this. Yes, you've been, you've been on fire. <laughs> yeah. I should, I should have went to the United, not Bowley. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, and, um, and we got a certain Phil Gulliver in on loan. Part yeah. Of the yeah, yeah, yeah. from Middlesbrough. Big Phil. Big Phil. Yeah. How, did you find, how did you find him as a partner? Because who was, who was your partner for most of the season then? Uh, it was Carl Broadhurst. JT was um, the well. uh, Jay, Jay's I, He was injured, game. wasn't he? Yeah, he got injured. Yeah, he got injured ankle again, I think. So he was out for quite a long period. But um, yeah, I think it was Broadie for a long period, which I mean, Broadie had known each other since probably. Yeah, about under 12s, something like that. So we'd all come with the same age and kind of come through everything together through the youth team and stuff. So to both be playing at the back was quite good. But yeah, he got he got injured and then Phil come in. And again, another young one, but just seemed to work well. And he just kind of slotted in. He was a bit he was a bit more robust and a bit more physical, which was quite good. Because, yeah. um, you know, I didn't really like to head it too much, if I'm going to be honest. So, yeah, he's a big boy. Um, he's a big boy. Yeah. He's a big boy and obviously ended up playing in the final, didn't he? So Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Was he an ever present then from when he came in in April? I think so, been. yeah. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Do you remember the um do you remember the Berry game? You know, like the um to get into the actual final. Yeah. Do you remember that? The yeah. home and away games of that? Yeah. yeah. So, I scored in the home one. The away one was rank, wasn't it? Oh, wow. oh it was horrific. Was horrific. Jesus Christ. That's up, that's the worst game we've ever played in. Still so, nil. Oh, yeah. two, two attempts on target. Me and you was an on target. Yeah, it was, it was yeah. one of those games that it was just you, we were just trying to get through it. They tried everything to get players sent off, and it was yeah, um, yeah, it was it was horrible, one of nice Yeah, one of nice I games. remember that. Yeah, I remember it's boiling hot. The pitch was horrendous, yeah. like bobbly end of season. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. think I had a chance. I think I had early chance, early doors from a, a worked free kick. I think we done well. Spam round the back. And I should have scored probably to be fair, but the goalie made a good save. So, um, but yeah, yeah other than that, I think we only was... had two attempts, but on target, yeah, 
Yeah, Mine but it was really it was horrendous. I think, to be fair, I think I don't know about you guys, but I always felt confident going into the game, like Perch said earlier. So even when it was like nil nil, I was yeah. fairly happy. I think like going back, I didn't feel like they'd be, especially going back, and then the second leg was at night. Uh, obviously, yeah. being yeah. caught, yeah. I always felt we played well of an evening. I don't know why, but um, but I remember, I almost probably remember that game, the second leg of the semi final, almost probably a little bit more than the actual final. To be yeah, I, I agree. I, I'm with you on that. I, I remember that day quite a lot of them. Mm. Um, again, there was a bit of a scuffle and stuff after that game, wasn't there? I remember in the tunnel, weren't there? Grant and one of their, I can't remember. It was. It was yeah. quite heat, but I remember all the fans coming on the pitch and all that. It was a good, that was a good night. It was a good night. Yeah. Who we was we their three... manager, Fletch? Do you know? He yeah. plays, didn't he? Andy Priest. Do you remember him? Yeah. Big striker. When he actually, he when he the player manager. Player manager. Player Might manager. have been. Might have been, yeah. Because he scored, he scored the goal when we were three in the up, weren't we? Cruising, then he scored with about half an hour to go. And I was like, oh, no, don't say they're going to come yeah. back. I was like, and oh, it, it, seemed such a, it seemed such a long time then, didn't it, from that game until the final? Yeah, I think. Yeah, was it was weird? Was weird on fire that night, wasn't it? Might have been. Yeah. Was, was we? Was it three 0 at half time? Yeah, three nil, two or three. Was weird. it two, and then weird. we scored straight away after? Did weird score a couple of goals as well? Might have done. Should we? Gaz, no, Gaz can't remember because he didn't score or assisted in that. No. <laughs> <laughs> we um. Move up the okay, yeah. yeah. Now I set up the other two. Yeah, wait, Scott. Two. We set. Because <laughs> <laughs> we played um. We played Lincoln our last league game, hadn't we? And then we yeah. got them in the. We got them in the in, obviously in the final, but we avoided them by getting beat. They beat yeah, us one nil. They beat us one nil yeah. at home in our last last home game. Yeah. But the other results went for us, so we were cemented in our position. And then beating us meant we didn't play them in the semi-final. We played Bury instead. Can tell you, but I, me- I remember that game. I remember that game quite well. The one 0 we lost, and I thought I think I thought we played really well that day. I think, and they, yeah, I, they, I think they got a scrappy goal, like yeah, they did. yeah. I, I think like towards the death or something. But I think I feel like we, we we dominated them in the game. And I knew, I think I knew from that game, I knew if we would get them in the final, then I knew we were going to beat them. It was almost like. Don't know what it was, but it was almost like a fate kind of thing, knowing that we'd lose that day, um, but then go and beat them in the final. I, just, I was very confident going into it. I was saying, the best, especially on a big pitch, you know what I mean? I knew we'd outplay them, you know? Exactly what I was thinking. I think of all the yeah. teams, we knew the way they played, and we just thought on a big pitch at, at the Millennium Stadium, um, we played anywhere near our capabilities, we could tear yeah. them apart. Because obviously, yeah. when you're playing on smaller pitches at, at Lincoln, is it Sinsil Bank? You, you get sucked into the way they're playing, which is why we. Did yeah. them tactic, we beat them 2 1. But, uh, you know, eight, nine times out of ten, you probably go to them places and get beat. I mean, we played really well up there, but we knew obviously at the Millennium Stadium was going to be a totally different game, totally different atmosphere. And if we played anywhere near what we were capable of playing with the players we had, we could tear them apart. And I know it was 5 2, and probably had some scary moments in the game where they, they got back into it. But I think if you looked at Back at the game, and apparently it's going to be on AFC BTV this weekend coming. Um, I think we absolutely murdered them. I don't I, think we I, were. Ever... We weren't great. We weren't great first half, though. No, know. but we. I remember that. But we do, we dominated. I felt like we were always on top. I know when we scored the equaliser, and I thought for a moment, I thought, oh no, no, it's going to go against us. But I just thought if we got our players, ball players on. On it, you know, especially people like Gaz and Wade, and we just had too much for them going forward. Yeah, I think I think what it was, I think as well, like because we were young, it could have been, um, you know, nerves and stuff could have get the, got the better of us. But I think it was like a, a consistent thing throughout the season. We we yeah. played the way we played. Do you know what I mean? And everyone knew what they were doing. So you go into that game, whether how big or how small you think it is, everyone just knew what to do. So it wasn't, it was almost going into the game like it was no different. I mean, like the atmosphere with the roof closed and everything was brilliant. Yeah, I mean, that, we that just played amazing. the way we played. Do you yeah. know what I mean? We just had the confidence to keep going with what we were doing. And I think it just helped us, I think, because I, I felt with them, they almost, especially second half when we, when we, or when we went after we went 2 1 up, there was almost like, didn't really know what to do. 
kind of thing. And then we just like obviously hit them second half with with I mean, quick your, goals. Your but... goals, your goals came at a ma- like again. You talk about goals and stuff, but yeah. the actual Rough goals players. came at massive, massive time, yeah. didn't they? Because of mm. you know that that whole flow of the game could have been so different if you two hadn't scored your goals at that time. And obviously yeah. then my one sort of killed it to 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 a point, but then we still needed the next one. It just, it just the goals we scored, you couldn't have picked better times for him to... No, yeah. exactly. Yeah, perfect timing, yeah. 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 So we played, we played on the Saturday, didn't we? We played Saturday, the first one, the first yeah. final was that was because when we, we got there, we stayed at that hotel and we'd never stayed in hotels. We'd never oh, stayed yeah. in hotels like it. We'd used to like, teaming up in a, in a room no bigger than about 15 foot. <laughs> like a tent. <laughs> All of a sudden, we had, we had our own rooms and it was like, wow, this is unbelievable. Yeah. I can't remember yeah. where it was. Does anyone remember? Was it, was, it, uh, was it Fair Look Morgan? Was it that one? I think it might have been. Yeah. Were, it we was not, were we not worried because it had a history of teams staying there and lost or was it the yeah. other way around? I was down to dressing. I was sitting at the dressing room. No, it's a oh, dressing room. I think the hotel was the lucky one, wasn't it? Hotel was lucky, changing room weren't, wasn't it? Didn't that it was, yeah, lucky. hotel was lucky, but we got the away changing room, didn't yeah. we? Yeah. And it was supposed to yeah. be unlucky, because I remember we went to the game, sorry, we went to the stadium on the Friday, and I think that's when we got told that the roof was going to be closed, because yeah, right. yeah. it was a choice. I don't know why they closed it. I don't, I'm not sure exactly why, but I think it was better in the end. I mean, I've, yeah, I've it added to it, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. But, uh, it was so noisy. So noisy. It wasn't until you, we were you, on the coast, you know, like when we actually were on the coast going to the game, that was when it actually probably hit me a little bit thinking, this is actually a big game. With the amount of fact, I've never seen, like obviously from our point of view, we've never really ever seen anything like that with the flags and the scarves. And, yeah. Wow. That, was, uh, that, that will always live with me, that, because driving down that straight and it was like, oh my gosh, there's thousands yeah. and thousands here. It was yeah. amazing. Mm. Do, do you remember? Do you remember we trained on the Astro indoor Astro at the hotel because it was the Vale of Morgan. I remember now. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, and Wally, uh, Wally got injured, hurt yeah. his ankle. Yeah. 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 Who? Warren Cummins. Cummins. Yeah, yeah. yeah they took him that, to yeah. hospital, didn't they? Yeah, he had to go back down to Bournemouth, didn't he, to to get like a, an injection in his ankle to then allow him to play? Because I was then because because if he was touch and go, then there was a chance I might have actually gone to left back. And because um, Sean pulled me and just said, look, if, if worst case, Warren can't play, then I was going to play left back. So it's amazing how fate has it, doesn't it? Because if I'd have been a left back, then wouldn't have scored. Yeah. No. Oh, you just said it's hard. Yeah. Yeah. You would have got, you would have got two. <laughs> Probably, yeah. <laughs> so we, we go, if we think about the game, I don't know how much recollection you've got of the actual day, but I remember, like you have just talked about going up to the, to the stadium and seeing all the fans, all the flags. I mean, I, I was fortunate enough to play at Wembley in the uh, 98 auto windscreen final. We took like 30,000, 33,000 fans there. So I had sort of experienced that before only once. Um, I know, Carl, you obviously went on to to play for big teams in the Premier League and, you know, played in massive games and for your country as well. But I just remember because I'd been beat at Wembley. I know it was only a cup game. It was the auto windscreens final and obviously, yeah, it's disappointing, but your league status isn't affected. I just remember thinking, I'm sick of being sick of best. I'm sick of losing. I'm sick of missing out. We missed out on the playoffs so many times on the last game of the season. I just remember seeing all our fans and just thinking, I'm so pumped up for this game because I don't want to be a loser again. I'm just sick of it. I was like 20, you know, I, well, I was, no, I was more than 29. I think I was, what was it, 2003? So I was like 31 years of age and I was just sick of losing. And, when we turned up at the stadium, I don't think I've ever, and probably never have been since, pumped up as much. Maybe the Grimsby game, obviously, six years back when we just stayed in the league. But apart from that, I've never been so pumped up to, to win a game. I was older than you boys, obviously. So I was feeling, I'm 31. If I don't win this game, am I never going to win anything in my career? I don't know how you boys felt, but it was a little bit different. Maybe I, I was the exact same. I, I normally got nervous at the start of every game. But at that game, when I was warming up, I'd shivers up and down my body, just no nerves, just saying, this is a bit of me. I was looking around, the stadium was packed, my family was there. I just, I'll always remember that, the feeling of it, you know, it was unreal, unreal. It didn't, I, any game I played in after that wasn't the same, you know. Obviously, it's the biggest game that I played in, you know. Yeah, I'm with you, same, the same. It was, again, you, you hope that wasn't maybe the pinnacle of 
the, yeah. the games that you play. But obviously, ultimately, for me, it was. And um, yeah. But yeah, I mean, I, it was, I was lucky as well. My brother was um, was part of the the squad yeah. as well, and even you know, I shared really? a room with him. And, and then he went and <laughs> I'll never forget. We got in the changing room. Him and Alan Connell. So he, I weren't in the squad either. So we literally sat down. I remember looking up. Those two had already got changed and gone on the pitch because they wanted to go and score in the goal. I swear, they must have had the longest warm-up because they were allowed <laughs> on there. No, no I just way. remember looking yeah. up when they got out there. It was, yeah, it was yeah, it was funny. Brilliant. So yeah, no, it, it, yeah, I think so. I think, to be fair, it took, it took me a bit of time because I, I think I was really disappointed that we didn't go up automatically. That was my first thing. I think, obviously, I wanted to win the league. Once we went down, that was the target. And then obviously not going up automatically. But when you look back now with everything that happened and with that actual game, you can't beat going up that way if no, you can guarantee yeah. it. And it was just, yeah. I, yeah, I think like you say, with you, Gaz, how you felt about the game, you, Perch, you, Fletch, like, there was that kind of aura that we went into the game of like a, you know, it was a no fear. It was almost like we went into the game not even thinking about losing. Like, I, didn't, no, I don't like, think any, of us, think any I, of us thought no, about no. not winning. 90% of the expected to win. Yeah. yeah. I was thinking, and I wish I had, well, God, of course I do. I wish most of my career I'd went in thinking like that because I thought there's no way we're getting beat. I'm not, yeah. not today, but I'm not having it. I'm sick of losing. And I, I, should, I wish I'd had that feeling throughout my career. I might have been a better player, but I remember all of us, when we were shaking hands at the beginning, whoever it was from the, um, the sponsors and the royalty who, who came and shook our hands, I remember us just being so focused and I just thought, this team's not getting beat today. There's no way this team... I just felt this was our day. I looked around and I think we all felt confident in the team we had around us. We knew what yeah. you were capable of, guys, what Perchy can do, what defence mind, how defensively minded was. We had Mossy and Goal. We have you, Fletch, at the back commanding. You know, we had Brown and experience. We had Wade on the wing. We had Hates up front who could get a goal. We had myself, you know, you could use me as a target man. So... I just looked around and I had confidence in all my teammates and it was just mm. I just remember thinking there's no way we're getting beat today. And and yeah. the squad as a whole, because it like you know, the subs as well, because everyone in that season all played, didn't they, one way or another? And I think even even that the lads who came on, you always felt that it was, you know, whoever was gonna come on could do something and and make a sort of impact and just slot in nicely. So, you know, that's credit to obviously, you know, Sean for Playing, playing and bringing those lads in and, and the squad as a whole, I think, because it was one of those that everyone sort of had each other's back one way or another. Yeah, it was, it was a great dressing room. It was, yeah. It yeah, was. It was. Yeah. We, had a good, we had a good mix, like you said earlier, like Carl alluded to earlier. We had experience from me, Brownie, Youngie, Mossy, and then obviously you had some in the middle with, like, say, JT and Perchy, and then we had Gaz, and then we had the younger ones. It was the younger ones quite... Mature for their age. Yeah, I'm not. Just, yeah, I'm not just saying you were here, Carl, because obviously you must have done something right. Because you know the year or the year after you, you obviously got a great move and you went on to play at the top level. So a lot of our younger lads had a good maturity on the pitch. Yeah, I think I think so. But I think that goes through. Um, probably come from Sean, really. Do you know what I mean? Just just allowing yeah. us to take control. I think I even remember. I think I don't know whether it's. It must have been that season that. You know, he almost gave us responsibility to change formation if we, we felt like it was needed in the middle of the game without even it discussing it with him. So I think it all yeah. kind of yeah. come from him, really. If we if we felt like this ain't working and we needed to change things, then I think he would allow yeah. allowed us to do it. And like you say, Fletch, a good mix. You know, you had you know, younger ones that were hungry and probably the older ones fed off that a little bit. And you know what I mean? The older ones would, would give a bit of experience to the young ones as well. So it just, yeah. it's just all a, all a good mix at the right time. And it's... You know, when you look back at your career, you don't always get that. Do you know what I mean? You don't always get that, teams. And I think no, you don't. we probably didn't appreciate it as much as we did um, at the time. But when you're looking back, you obviously appreciate it yeah. now and realise what, what a you know, good effect, you know, what a good group of, of lads we had at that time. And, and I think the disappointment thing as well, like because it was one of those that we did have a good group that in the next season we should have then gone up again. You know, is it? Yeah. You get greedy, uh, but you look uh, at you look at you know we started well and we were on a bit of a run and then we just faded and you just think we could have been we could have ended up sort of going again, you know? Easily, yeah, but, easily. You should have, yeah. Should have made yeah, the playoffs. Well, easily, definitely. Yeah, should have. Yeah. So we we'll go to the game quickly. Obviously, I got the first goal. I was very, you know, honoured to have that. I mean, I remember was it someone hit the long ball up to Browner who flicked it on. Was it you, Fletch? No. 
can't come remember in, Fletch. Come, come on, hit the free kick from. It's probably from... Gaz. Probably no, Gaz again. Never no, says that. No, no, no. That's no. That's the only one I didn't have an assistant. But uh, <laughs> I think it was Youngy, was it not Youngy? My thing. From in our own half, hit a good ball up. Brown flicked it on. I just gambled to the cross foot of the big six foot seven centre half and caught it sweetly. It was a great feeling. Ran off to my family and it was early. The only thing is, it was really early in the game, and yeah. I was thinking. You know, yes. listen, I was I was not a goal scorer. We know that. You know, I wish I was, but I wasn't. But I was thinking, there's no way this sure. is going to be the winning Pick goal. It. There's no way this is going to be the winning goal. I wanted it to be, <laughs> but there's no way it was going to be. And then they equalised not long after. Uh, Futcher got up for a header, but Mossy came to punch and he used his height, six foot seven, and he got a header in. It went to one one. And I don't know how you felt, but I feel my heart. I remember my heart sinking, thinking, please, no, not again. Yeah, it's horrible. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I mean, I didn't, I didn't feel that Fletch from, from like, no. oh, not again, because I, I didn't think there was a lot in it early doors. You know I mean, yours was a yeah. good finish, and then obviously the, the big guy that we knew about anyway, because he's so tall and and, and yeah. fairly mobile, had been doing it all season. I think he was your man as well, Fletch, wasn't he? So, well, Mossy, yeah. Howard, Mossy, so I, I left Mossy punch, and he missed it, and I got the blame. Yeah. Cheers, Mossy. One job, <laughs> one job. One job. But yeah, no, I, I didn't think there was a lot in the game, so I didn't feel like, oh no, they're massively on top now, and. Um, do you know what I mean? Oh, we, you know, it's going to be an avalanche and we're going to be struggling. I knew we hadn't, we, like Perch said earlier, I don't think we started that well, to be fair. I think we, you know, which we hadn't done probably all that season. I think, no, no. I don't think ever of our first half performances, wherever that, uh, remember, like you wouldn't remember them and, and think that they were amazing. So I wasn't too worried. And I think obviously getting the goal just before half time, I think that gave us a yeah. massive boost. Yeah, Perchy, you mentioned you Perchy, you mentioned that, didn't you? The time of the yeah, I just, I just think for us to that goal before, just to go in at half time with where we were, it just allowed us to go. Okay, we weren't amazing, but um, we can go again from here. And we did. We seem to. I don't know that second half. We did definitely start better. I felt we did. I, as in, I can't remember the game exactly, but I remember us feeling that we started a bit better. And I don't know if then they suddenly come back into it, and it just we ended up then just. I don't know, obviously the goal didn't come about from from my point of view, which was a, a great feeling. But it was, again, yeah. that moment we needed, that moment at that time just to calm us down and then enjoy, really. I think from that moment, we could all just enjoy the rest of the game. Uh, as in people, Gaz's goal. And, you know, from, from that point of view, it just ended up sort of taking control, didn't it? And everyone could enjoy themselves. For the, the second goal. Yeah. Yeah, go on, Gaz. No, I'm just saying the last 15 minutes you could start to take. We knew we had won at that stage, you know what I mean? So we could enjoy yeah. that. I was, I was under, I was taken off at that stage, you know. But you could relax, you know. Five yeah. two up, you know, and not getting beaten from there. Because eh? I, I thought it went. Goal. We went. I got the second goal, Carl. The second goal yeah. came from because you were in the box anyway, so it must have been yeah. a second face from a corner yeah. or something. Gaz, yeah, it was. Gaz, yeah, it was, I think it's a. It was a wide free kick, I think. So uh, yeah. I think my oh, role yeah. usually was I used to be the first man, I think. Yeah, that's right. Uh, to try yeah. and get across the front man, if I remember yeah. rightly. But yeah. I think it like you said, it comes second phase. So I don't know whether they cleared it, but then I think Gaz got it yeah. again. Yeah, went out to the left. Yeah, and I I I checked onto me right and put it in. Yeah, it was going in, yeah. but he managed to get his head on it. Yeah, <laughs> I remember it. I remember it's a really poor co cross, and I had to make the most of it. <laughs> That's That's a good, it was a good. It was a good header. It was, it. It was, a good it was the faintest, the faintest of touches, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, first yeah, of all, yeah. I wasn't sure, like just I, I wasn't sure if you'd, if you'd actually got anything on it, but yeah. you did. It, it was the yeah. only way he was going to start. It was a great he, did, he ran away doing this. Just to make sure everyone knew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to make sure. That's mine. I've run away touching me before. <laughs> and then obviously the goal of the game after half time, I mean, it came from a long throw, I think, from them. Mossy punched out. Yeah. We Mossy made up for it. Box. I mean, talk us, talk us through it, Perchy. I, I just remember Mossy punching it. And he me, I kicked it. Guys, guys, basically, basically Mossy it. did what he should have done, yeah. done the first goal. I think even no, the commentator. The I think the commentator says that. I think he actually does say that. He makes yeah. he makes it up for the error in the first half. I think he does bring it up. <laughs> but um, it, it was one of those. I think the ball the ball went out wide, and I um, I was on the penalty spot, and I just thought, wow, there's no one else out there. I just I just put my head down and just run, and, and just thought, if I get in the box, there's a chance. And you got the pace of Wade, and um, you know, fortunately, it was just one of those. I think. Like when you when you are attacking rather than defending, if you're running one way and the defense, you've got more of a chance of getting there just because 
you always do. I think it's one of them yeah. things. Fortunately, yeah. it went slightly, you know, behind because then that didn't allow the defender to get there and just got contact on it. And wow, I mean, I, uh, was a, again, it's an unbelievable feel. Counter, great counter attack. And like you say, Mossy punched. I don't know who picked it up on the edge, but they played it out. Me, me, all you played was me. Gaz, me. Gaz, me. Yeah. Gaz, I, I put Wade in on the reef. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> No, 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 it's genuine, it's genuine, it's genuine. Yeah, he played Wade. It was James Hater, wasn't it? James Hater picked it up. Yeah, he played played Wade. Wade made the run, and then obviously you just gone charging up, because I was still on the edge of my own box, mate. I was thinking Mm. there's no chance. Uh, Yeah, no chance of you getting there. And I was looking, I I wouldn't even have got to the halfway line if I'd have tried. And I was like... Who's that blonde lad running through the middle? Go on, Perchy. Go on, son. <laughs> and then I was nowhere near you because I was in my own box. I was nowhere near you for the celebrations. I was gutted. Yeah. 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 But I, I, I thought, think, you, I I think thought like, you were just rude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I think I fletch I remember it because obviously I think like you said, we cleared it and I could see it from behind. But it just you knew as soon as it broke, we was going to have a chance at the end of it because I think we yeah. we had the energy to get forward. We had the legs. You could see. I think I, I I remember that goal because I remember them not being able to get back, and I could just see our players just kind of running away from their their defenders that were trying to get back. And I knew, you know, if it fell the right way, that Perch, Perch had had a, a good strike all season that year. You know what I mean, I think in training, I remember. Um, yeah. So I think, you know, yeah. if it fell to that, you, you know, it's definitely going to be. A I goal. think I think that goal really. You know, because obviously they were they were two one behind, and we were probably on top, but one goal in it. But then all of a sudden, two goals in it. I think it really sunk them. It was a dagger to the heart, really, wasn't it? Yeah, I think yeah. I, I think you could you could feel that because they, uh, yeah, you could feel that not from just the players, but their fans, everything, and then our fans, yeah. obviously. You know the the noise I remember then from that moment. Again, I, again, I think you, you remember certain things through the game. I don't remember the game much as a whole, but those moments after, say, so I think everyone relaxed after that. A little bit more, we and we just ended up playing. We ended up playing pretty well from that moment, I think. Yeah, because we got the yeah. we got the fourth goal. I think the ball was played up to me, guys. You overlapped, and I turned and hit it with my left foot. And next thing you're yeah. running through, I'm thinking he's definitely going to square it to someone. But somehow you took an early shot. Just took it early on my left. Yeah, I put it onto my left foot and I just touched it with my left, and then I managed to get it. Yeah, lovely. Went in. Good goal. Eh? Yeah, next in the bottom corner. I think then. 4-1. I remember you running over to the crowd and we all ran over, over to you. And yeah. we, we were celebrating the victory then. Now, I know they yeah. went mid 4-2 and Carl obviously got the, mm. the final goal that, that he put the nail in the coffin. But when we were celebrating with you guys at 4-1 with whatever, I don't know, 20 minutes to go, I'm thinking That's it, we're, yeah. cele- we're celebrating the victory. That's how I felt. I know yeah. you think it happened. If, 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 if you, you Fletch, if you look at that goal again, the way you actually celebrate me, you and I think Wade was beside us, but it is, you're right, like, it's like we've we've won it now, you know. Yeah, that's what you're I thinking, thought, you know. I thought the game was done. Yeah. Then yeah. they go and get a header, you know, a glancing header in 4 2, and then you're looking up at the clock and you're thinking, oh my god, there's still 10 15 minutes left. Yeah. But then Captain Marvel pops up with the winning, not the yeah. winning goal, but obviously the goal that was just put the converted another bad cross from Gaz, okay. which was, yeah. You know I mean? <laughs> But, but you, it's funny, Fletch, you say that you had that feeling at 4-1. I didn't have that feeling that I felt the game was over. I, felt, I probably felt there was just too much much time left. And then when it went 4-2, I was not nervous, but I was like, you know, they, they were very, that season, they were very um, good at putting bodies in the box, long balls in the yeah. box, anything could have fell to them. And we, we were generally not a big side anyway. So I didn't feel comfortable, but I, as soon as the fifth one, Went in. I I knew that I had that feeling. You had it four one. I had that at five two. I knew that was a game yeah. over. Yeah, because it was a great over. cross from you guys, wasn't it, Fletch? I remember being right behind you because I actually, when I look back at it, I've jumped as if I'm going to head it, but you've got in front of your defender and got a lovely little contact, and you know, the rest history, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, just yeah. Again, look, Gaz. Put. I think we knew all season, Gaz, what what good quality he has on his right yeah. foot. So, you know, if you're going to make a run, that that we. We generally done our cross um, our runs in the box from free kicks and stuff, so we cover all areas. So you knew at some point it was going to come towards you. Then it's just trying to get a good contact. I mean, I don't think it, it wasn't you know miles in the corner or anything like that. But I think just the, the speed of it that that I got to get the right to go surprise, past. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I think, like I said, I felt that was game over then, and it was almost like a release. I felt yeah. and a relief that that I felt like yeah we'd won that then five two we're done. You know what I mean? And that was that's the, the celebration. Yeah. 
the celebrations at the end, we all have our own personal, you know, families we're looking up to and friends mm. at the game. But we got on that podium and obviously you lifted the cup, Carl. And I remember the elation and the feeling yeah. of, for me yeah. personally, thank God in my career at 31, I've won something. I can go back to my yeah. children, get grandchildren, whatever, and, and say, you know, I've, I've actually achieved something on, the big, on a big occasion. Um, and you lifting that trophy, I remember the, the video of it and we're all jumping around like lunatics and we, must, we just felt as one. It felt amazing. Yeah. yeah. I think that was the thing because we, we was all so close. Do you know what I mean? That, yeah. that you know, you was, you felt like you were doing it with all your mates. You know, we've we've all been in teams where you know po people don't get on and they have their own cliques and they're doing it for their own agendas and stuff. And even you know, some people have got the ump when you actually won things or winning games. But I felt yeah. like everyone was pulling in the right direction with that, and and it was it was yeah, it was like a massive relief, and it was just yeah, it, it's it's right up there, one of the best days. Yeah. Like, and I remember the the Sunday, the Sunday morning once we got back, waking up that Sunday morning was like. Never had that feeling at all. Just the the, the, the happiness that comes over your body that you've yeah, made, I agree. you go out long seasons are long and you go all the way through it and to have achieved something at the end of it, I think it's uh, it's, it's yeah best one. I just, I just, I just uh, remember, go on, go on, guess. No, I was just saying it doesn't happen often that at the end of the season you've, you've achieved that. Really, do you know what I mean? It's mm -hmm. just like normally uh, it's the end of the season, whatever. You know. Yeah, but I mean, the, the, the coach on the way back, obviously, we obviously stopped straight away, didn't we? <laughs> and yeah, wiped yeah. out a whole. Uh, a whole <laughs> off license, literally. Of, uh, <laughs> of well, you didn't have one drink on that bus. <laughs> yeah, no, you, you, <laughs> didn't, you didn't have one, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you said okay. waking up on the Sunday. I was still awake on the Sunday morning. <laughs> we, uh, we even dragged uh, a certain Mr. O'Driscoll into the nightclub, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, we did. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we did. yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that was surreal, wasn't it, that? Being clapped yeah. in to go into uh, Elements, whoever it was. Yeah. 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 Straight off the coach, weren't we? Yeah, we yeah. Were. straight off the coach, straight in. Yeah. Yeah. And tie, brilliant. Yeah, uh, and, and I think even like the, the, even the next day, as I flexed at that, I remember because um, we weren't really ever in the papers for our performance, obviously being in the league we were, but we we're actually on the back page of whatever it was the sun or the mirror of, of the game. I think again, from something that not ever used to sort of see. I mean, obviously, the guys nowadays have that every time they do anything but um you know for us that was probably the first time we'd actually seen what it'd be like a, you win a big major thing and, and obviously it was for us massive massive yeah it was brilliant i remember going out and collecting all the newspapers because like you say we were on the back page of all the nationals um even had a double spread in one of them and it was amazing because obviously it was four scoring the goals i think it was one of the one of them and the four of us celebrating at the end and i was pouring yeah. the champagne in my head carl had the cart and amazing yeah. mate memories that we probably don't appreciate until maybe times like now when we're talking about it because yeah. supporters mention it but you don't really sit down and analyse it and think about it probably this is the first time in 10-15 years I've even thought about that game properly in, in its entirety no, I agree. Yeah. I agree. and then like you say the, the open top bus was amazing as well we didn't really have ever had it in many in the club's history I think obviously they, they got promotion in 87 Apart from that, I don't think the club had really celebrated, a, you know, winning anything or a promotion and having an open top bus ride around the town. And that was a fantastic day. I think, guys, you'd been awake for two and a half days solid. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> well, he wasn't on the top of the bus. So he was down hiding down the bottom. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Driving it. Yeah. Driving oh, it was yeah. a dead hole out, mate. I, I was thinking about him tor not torn enough for that. I swear to God. <laughs> Oh. Yeah. Great times, great times, and like you say, something we can talk about for many years to come. And it goes down in, I know obviously Bournemouth now in the Premier League, but from the uh, the good old days, as people like to speak about, it's got to be one of the best times in all, all the supporters' lives. That I have people come up to me now and talk about it, and you think what we're achieving now in the Premier League and beating Man United, beating Chelsea, beating Brilliant. Liverpool, but they still talk about the millennium as their best day ever as a Bournemouth. Yeah. Supporter, and I, I'm thinking, why would you say that? Beating Liverpool 4 3 must be the best day, or beating yeah. Man United must be the best mm -hmm. day ever. And they go, no, Fletch, because you know, we hadn't really achieved anything. The club had, uh, had not really done anything for many, many years. And going to a big, a big stadium like the Millennium Stadium and, and achieving yeah. what we did, and yeah, it was only League Two. But for supporters to still say that after everything yeah. they've been experiencing in the last five years, I think that 
you know, holds it right up there in, in a huge, in a huge achievement, really. I think, I that's think that's amazing. it, Fletcher. Yeah, yeah I think, yeah. like you say, the fact that it was like almost it turns into a little cup competition, and you obviously go away and you actually go in a different stadium and you have a final. It, it you know, most of Bournemouth would have gone down that day, you know, as families to actually go and support, add a whole day out of it. So in terms of memories. I think it's, it def- definitely stands out for people. Um, and like I said, I've been lucky enough to have another promotion through the playoffs as well. And it's just, it's just the same. It's, it's the best way to go up if you can guarantee it. Um, obviously, if you can't, obviously win the title outright. But um, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a great day. I think, like you say, the whole thing, the Millennium Stadium, the roof closed, the way the game went, I think it just, you know, it was a, a, a good ending to, to a season that had been up and down at times but something that we've just got better and better as the season went on. No, no just good to see everyone. I think we've covered a lot yeah. of things, you know, we spoke about the season and certain games. I mean, obviously it is 17 years ago, so it is hard to remember certain games, um, unless you maybe yeah. scored in them. So I think we've covered a, a good multitude of the entertainment for that, for that season and obviously accumulating in the final. Uh, we've all spoke about how we felt, our emotions, and what it still means to the club because it's part of the history. And one thing Eddie does is when any player comes in, a new player, doesn't matter from what club he's come from, he always talks about days like Millennium, where this club was, where it's been, where you know we haven't just appeared in the Premier League. <laughs> we were basically a League One club who dropped down to League Two and worked our way up. And the nice thing is we always we always talk about it with it, with the players we bring in and. Ed's always been like that. He's always spoke about the history of the club and it is right up there with a, a huge achievement in the club's history. And it's, for me personally, and I'm sure speaking for all four of you, it's a, a fantastic thing to be part of. Um, like I said, going down in, in Bournemouth history is amazing. You only have to see how many of that squad like come through and have continued their careers and staying in football, whether it's coaching, managing or whatever it is. Do you know what I mean? So I think, yeah, we, we, we grew up a lot there and again a lot, lot of credit to Sean and, and probably to, to Peter Phillips as well yeah. because it had been very easy for after the um, getting relegated it had been very easy for him to to kind of sack Sean um, and just like get someone else in or, or someone yeah. with a bit more experience or something like that completely different and to be honest if they had maybe a lot of us wouldn't have played because they might have had some money and brought older players in, more experienced ones than the ones we actually had. And we might not have been allowed that time to to develop and play games and get that experience. So um, I think a lot goes down to, to Peter and obviously to Sean to, to give us the platform to be able to go out and, out and perform. Well, in the words of Sean Driscoll, absolutely great. Absolutely great. <laughs> it's been a pleasure. Honestly, it's been brilliant. Great. Where's he Fisher. from, Fletch? Australia. <laughs> <laughs> Australian. Brilliant. <laughs> Pleasure. Cheers, uh, nice to see you, lads. Cheers, guys. Yeah, Good to see you. Well, see you, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Yeah.